Hello and welcome to The Sound Test Room. My name is Jakob Hack. I'm your host and you're watching a hack vlog. Now in this vlog, I wanted to expand on this episode that I published quite recently. It's about compression, the way you use compressors and what you use them for. That way you can actually make your tracks sound better because you've got control of your sound, keeping your levels in check. Check, check, check. Now another great way is to make sure the audio that you're recording is even and, and balanced when it's coming in. So let's talk about vocals. There's something called microphone technique. If you're in a studio going to perform something, sing something, and you got loud parts in your song and you've got uh, more quieter parts in your song, microphone technique, when you get to loud parts, you move away a bit from the microphone. Then you're not stressing the microphone as much and you won't get those peaks. And when you get to quieter parts, you move closer to the microphone. So that's basically microphone technique. It's something you have to practice a lot. And the best way to do that is actually to practice singing into a microphone, talking into a microphone and using headphones and that way you'll hear when you need to move and you'll learn the technique. It takes a while to learn but it is very useful. That way you will have a more balanced signal coming in. So when you're using a compressor on it to compress the audio uh, then you won't have to tweak it as madly. That's basically what I wanted to say. Try to get your audio recorded as balanced as you can. Now it's not always possible and then you have to get a little bit fiddly with the compressors and, and EQs and, and other stuff. Go watch the episode if you haven't. It, loads of good stuff about compression. As usual, Doug Woods, Colin Sweeney and me, Jakob Hack at soundtwistroom.com wishes you a very productive week. Now go finger your surfaces and have lots of fun doing it.